click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends today we will know about what is main memory and what are the memory aspects related to main memory and what is the basic hardware that we can apply to get a better and reliable main memory as we know as a result of the cpu scheduling we can improve the cpu utilization and both the computers uses corresponds now to increase this performance we must know that the all processes that we need to execute be situated in the main memory only that is we must share the memory now as we know that the memory is central for operation in any computer system and the memory is consisting of a bytes of large array each bytes containing its own address space the instructions can be loaded from the main memory according to the value of the program counter and also as the instructions been loaded it also needs additional loading and storing to the specific types of memory now when the first instruction are fetched from the main memory then it is loaded in the instruction register after loading it to the instruction register then it may cause other operands to be fetched from the memory then the operate will be operate on the operators and after that the result will be stored back again in the memory as we know that the user will only see a stream of memory addresses that the user must not know that how they are generated like by an instruction register in direction literal address and so on and what are the programs for how user will use this generated programs they only see a sequence of the memory address by this generated program main memory and the basic registers that are built into the processor are the only general purpose memory that can be directly accessed by the cpu now the program is generated by the cpu can contain the parameters as like memory addresses but it never contains the parameters as the disk addresses so any program and the data that is being used by that program or process must reside in this cpu or this base registers to be executed by the cpu register that are built into the cpu can complete their execution in one clock cpu time now you cannot say that the same will be done with the main memory addresses as the main memory is storing only this memory and when they are need to be executed they need to be put it in this type of memory like registers and base registers now whenever the memory is waiting for this registers to contains moving then it should not have that much of faster access that a cpu can directly do with this type of memory the main memory can be accessed by a only a transaction of the memory bus now when the main memory is allocating this memory to addresses and then moving it to the best registers or the cpu registers then it generally stalls what do you mean by stalling that the main memory is giving or wasting a large amount of time for waiting the data to be moved from the memory to this main memory registers so in this way the memory is stalling for a larger time so there need to be a faster memory between the cpu and the main memory access generally it is built into the cpu chip only now the cache that are built into the cpu can be managed by controlling that what type of base registers need to be there and what type of data are needed to be moved in there to control the proper execution in this way the hardware speeds up its performances without the intervention of the operating system now here we are not only concerning about the access to the physical memory divided by this operating system but also we are concerning with the correct operation on this processes now to ensure the correct operation on this processes we must say and protection needed to be done by the operating system how can it be done then any attempt to the user process that it cannot be used in this user mode and the attempt to any legal address that is in already other users process so it cannot be done and it will trap to an error to the operating system 
and this type of error is generally a fatal error. Now this procedure should be implemented by the hardware only because the operating system does not intervene between the CPU and its memory access. The CPU when access to its register contents and base register contents, then the hardware or the software cannot intervene in that way. So the operating system must be prevented from accessing there this user processes and attempt to an illegal address operation. Now to implement this procession and procession for this protection, we need to first divide this process space for each process area. Now the per process separate space can give us the idea that every space in this process space can give the execution of concurrent processes simultaneously. Now as the processes are residing in this each process space or separate process space, then no other should be prevented from each. Then only one process can access to its private protect space and cannot be intervened with the other process space. So this type of protection can be done only if the address range that the process can done in a legal way are defined. And to ensure that the process should access only this legal address space. So it can be done in two ways. First two types of registers are needed to be defined. One is the best register that contains the smallest physical address that can be provided to a process. And the number two is the limit register, which contains the size of the range that the process can access as a legal address space. Suppose that the base register is containing 2024 and the limit register is containing 500. So the entire access range that can be processed by a process is 2024 plus this 500 minus 1 because one process is already executing in the memory. So this range can be identified by the processes and only the processes can act or execute in this address space. So in this way base registers and limit registers together can combinedly provide a protection to the operating system from the user processes and from the user processes with one another. Now protection of this memory access is accomplished by a hardware implemented by a CPU. Now the CPU checks every address that is provided by a program against these registers. If the registers is not allowed or if the registers are not containing this address space provided by a process or a program, then it traps an error to the operating system. It can be any error like illegal access operation or the illegal use of these other user processes too. So this prevents a process to modify or update a data structure that is used exclusively by this operating system kernel. The base and limits registers can be provided with the operating system only. As the operating system only execute in the kernel and the privilege instructions can only be run by the kernel mode, then the operating system is the only one which can value define this of the base and limit registers. Thus, no user process is used to or allowed to change the content of these registers, but the operating system can change the value of these registers according to the program's demand and need. The operating system thus executing in the kernel mode has been given unrestricted access to the both operating system and user's memory space that the operating system can load a user process in the user's memory, dump those code which are of error. It can provide the IO operation to and from any memory devices and can provide other general specific services. Suppose that the operating system which is executing in the kernel mode can provide and modifying the data structures for the kernel only. So no other user process is allowed to update this data structure other than the operating system. It can be done in such a way, for example, that the operating system are the only one responsible for doing the context switches. It must save the state of the current process before removing it from the main memory and storing it back to the backing store. Now it again reloads the memory of which it will be executing to the making store 
to their main memory. Now this backing stored address and context switching can be done only by the operating system. So this is the basic hardware of the main memory or operating system's memory. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.